So in the previous video, we were introduced to McLaren series. And from that, um, we are going to then see how we can derive the series expansion, the binomial expansion of 1 plus x to the n, okay, which we will have met before. So starting off with f of x equals that, I'm going to keep on differentiating this to get the required terms. So f prime of x, so we're going to use the chain rule. Now the derivative of the interior here is just going to be 1. So the derivative is just n 1 plus x to the n minus 1. So that's quite straightforward. So f double prime, the second derivative, will be n n minus 1, 1 plus x to the n minus 2. The third derivative would be n n minus 1, n minus 2, 1 plus x to the n minus 3. OK? So from the formula, you can see that we're going to need to evaluate each of these functions at 0. So I want f of 0. So substituting x of 0, we're going to get 1 plus 0 to the n, which is 1 to the n, which is just 1. Then we've got f prime of 0. So substituting x of 0 into that, we're going to get n times 1 to the n minus 1. So that's just n. Substituting 0 into the second derivative, we're going to get n times n minus 1. And in the third derivative, we're going to get n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. So that means that 1 plus x to the n is going to be equal to f of 0, which is 1, plus f prime of 0 times x, so nx, plus f double prime of 0, which is n, n minus 1, over 2 factorial, x squared, plus f uh, triple prime of 0, which is n, n minus 1, n minus 2, over 3 factorial, x cubed. OK? And so you can get that general term, OK, um, where we would have uh, n, n minus 1, dot, 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 and then uh, n uh, take away k minus 1, isn't it? So n take away k minus 1 over k factorial uh, x to the k, for example, plus dot, 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 dot. I mean, we could use r here if we wanted to, I guess. Like that. OK? Now, we know also that this has a range of validity. We know that this is only true for mod x is less than 1, where n here is a real number. OK? So this is the validity. And this is something that we need to consider uh, when we're working with um, McLaurin series. Now, actually deriving the validity for McLaren series is beyond the specification, but you need to be aware of the validity for each of the functions that we consider. Um, and we're going to uh, look at that each time we go through one of the main series expansions.